Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an analog clock just like this one that is not working properly or not working at all whatsoever completely in its complete form, okay? I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this very simplistic tutorial. So that was a mouthful. I extended that title and that intro a little too long, so I'm going to simplify it. If your analog clock is not working properly or not working at all whatsoever, this is how to fix it easily with a very simplistic tutorial. I'll be going over five simple steps that you can use to pretty much fix most analog clock problems. Now this is obviously an oversized one uh, that has an alarm feature, um, but yours might be slightly different or very similar. Uh, you can use the same the same steps to basically try and fix it. So step number one is to replace the batteries. Now most likely if it's an analog clock like this that's mounted on a table or mounted on the wall, it's going to be battery powered, otherwise known as a quartz movement. It's very simple. <clears throat> that's because, you know, this is an automatic watch, so I'm moving my wrist and that's winding it, but with an analog clock like this, if it's sitting, then it's just going to be powered by battery. So the first step is to replace the batteries. If you look at the back or underneath, but most likely on the back, you're going to find a battery compartment. Open it up and replace the battery or batteries. This is a C-sized battery. Um, it's a pretty big battery, so it lasts a long time, um, but just replace it. Very simple. Okay. If that doesn't help you out, move on to step number two, which is to inspect the battery compartment. Sometimes, because these batteries do last quite a while, they just sit in there for a long time, and oftentimes, because you probably don't use your analog clock to tell the time, it's probably more of a display piece, because our phones and our watches are going to everything is smart nowadays you have times being shown on your microwave on your stove on your phone on your tablet on your laptop so you're probably not telling the time on the analog clock often so maybe the battery's been sitting there for a long time and there's some oxidization or some corrosion in there inspect the battery compartment and take the appropriate steps to, to, to correct it now if you do see corrosion honestly most of the time if it's an inexpensive analog clock I would just recommend replacing the clock but at least you'll know what the problem is okay um, I wouldn't recommend trying to deal with the corrosion I've done it in the past with expensive things but if it's something that's like under 30 bucks I would just replace it honestly very simple okay if that doesn't help you I'll move on to step number three <clears throat> which is to move the clock around a bit sometimes your clock is literally just frozen there might be a not literally frozen I'm saying that because it's snowing outside and it's really cold we're at about minus 10 right now with the wind chill um, so it's a cold pretty cold morning not freezing but pretty cold um, but I live in Canada, which we don't get these crazy low temperatures like people think, but we do get some cold, you know, days filming this at the end of January. Um, you know, so I, by the time you see this, it'll be much later, but I'm filming this at the end of January, 2023. By the time you see this, it's probably actually, by the time I schedule it out, we're going to be in January, 2024. Um, but it's a cold day. So I don't mean frozen in terms of cold. I mean, frozen in terms of a stuck piece, move the clock around a little bit, not aggressively, but deliberately with a decent amount of movement to sort of shuffle it around okay if that doesn't help you I'll move on to step number four which is to turn the time adjustment hand around um, just like that just alternate the time adjustment hand around a few times and also the if you have a if you have an alarm adjuster like that alternate that that is done by turning these two little knobs back here just so you know and then uh, step number five if that doesn't help you out is to flip the alarm switch on and off a few times if it is an alarm clock like this one as you can hear with the annoying dinging that you've probably been hearing the entire video, um, there's an alarm switch to turn it on and off. Just flip it on and off a few times. It'll help you out. It most likely will, you know, uh, trip anything that has been uh, causing an issue with regards to the alarm, uh, which can cause an issue with regards to it not ticking the time. Okay. Um, yeah, that's basically it. If your analog clock is not working properly, this is how to fix it in a very simplistic tutorial. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, especially for that dinging sound. Let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching